In this video, I'm going to walk through how online payments work inside of Odoo. We've set up our payment acquirer to be PayPal. So if you type in payment acquires, we're in the accounting module, but if you don't have accounting installed, it will be uh, located in other modules as well. We have our PayPal connected in test mode. You'll want to connect any of your payment acquirers, such as Stripe, Authorize.net, or PayPal, to begin this process. Next thing we're going to do is go into the sales application. We're going to go into configuration settings. And we're going to make sure that we have online payments enabled. Under quotations and orders, you'll see online payments is currently selected. And underneath, you have a button to bring you to your payment acquirers if you need to set that up. We also have online signature enabled, too. We'll disable this for now. So now we're going to create a sales order. So we're going to go to orders. We'll actually keep it in the quotation sent stage so that we can receive the quote via email and then pay for it. So we're going to send this to our customer one. We're going to add a product here, product one. Actually, we'll add product two because we have some stock of that. And now what I'm going to do is save this. And if we go to the other info tab, you see our online payment is automatically checked by default. And I'm going to send this by email. Now we've sent this by email and I'm going to go into another tab and I'm going to pay this invoice. So now if I jump over to another tab here, we'll see that out. We received a new email from our Odoo instance. Obviously we didn't customize this at all, but you can. We're going to click this purple button here that says review, accept and pay quotation. And as you see a button up here to say accept and pay. If we had sign enable, it would say sign and pay. We can pay from right here. We can write notes in the chatter down below that will automatically populate inside of Odoo's chatter to the right here. So I will accept and pay. And I'm going to select PayPal. Right now we are in test mode. And I'm going to click pay. And I'm going to log into a dummy account. It's going to redirect us to PayPal in order to pay. So I'm just going to follow the steps on screen here and click pay. So this is what your customers will do. They'll make sure that they pay here. If you have Stripe or Authorize.net, there might be a slightly different process. So I'm going to click pay now. So once we complete this payment, this will automatically redirect us back to our quote. And we, our payment is complete. It's just going to process for a second. And as you see, this is now became a sales order. And now if we go back to our Odoo backend, we we'll go back into our order. You see that it has become a confirmed sales order. So when we sent an email, it was in quotation sent stage, and now it is a confirmed sales order. In the right here, you can see that we have a transaction or a payment reference associated with this sales order. We can click into this, and we can see this payment was made from customer one for $20, and we see the payment transaction was for sales order 18 inside of our PayPal journal. And from here, we can create the invoice. So right now, we don't have automatic invoicing on. And I'll show you another example with that enabled. But for now, we're going to click Create Invoice. 
and we're going to say regular invoice and we're going to see how that payment carries over right to this invoice. So once we confirm this, it'll automatically be an in payment because we've already registered the payment. So anytime we have a transaction associated with a sale or invoice, we will have this payment transaction associated with it. And this is the token that establishes the connection between our customer and our payment. So this is this is what uh, where our payment is registered. And this is all the information about the registered payment. We have the date, we have um, the acquirer, which is PayPal, we have our payment ID, the email and customer. And these smart buttons bring us right back to our invoice as well as our sales order. So now this is completely paid and we'll be able to reconcile this in our PayPal journal. Um, I'll cover how to reconcile in another video. But before we do all that, let's go ahead and turn on automatic invoicing and try that process again. So I'm going to go into our configurations. And I'm going to search invoice. And you'll see automatic invoice. Generate the invoice automatically when an online payment is confirmed so that we don't have to automatically or we don't have to manually select uh, create invoice. So we'll save this. We'll go to orders or quotations and we'll create a new order. Same thing here, we'll do customer one, we'll add a product. We'll see that online payments is enabled still. And now we'll save and send by email. So this will send, it might take a second. And you'll see on the right, if it's sent success successfully, you'll see a white mail icon rather than a red icon. So if it's a red icon, that means it was sent on successfully. So now let's go back to our Gmail. And we see a new sale order to review and accept. So now we'll click accept and pay. We'll do PayPal again. We're still locked in, so we'll click pay now. And we'll just redirect manually here. So now that is all complete, we can go back into our back end. And if we refresh this or we come out, we'll go back into it. You'll see that an invoice is automatically created for the sales order. And it's confirmed and in payment and we don't have to do any extra steps here. So this is all done automatically by selecting that checkbox. We still have the payment transaction associated with it. If we click into this payment transaction, we'll have the invoice and sales order. And everything is automated uh, once the customer signs and pays or just pays. In the next video, I'll cover how to reconcile all of these payments from PayPal um, with a custom journal for PayPal and automatically uh, reconciling that based on uh, reconciliation models.